Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow us over here at eTero. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as I said yesterday, we were going to expect a pullback uh, basically today and sometimes this week, but it basically started today. And the main reason for that is because we were getting very overstretched. We have been basically hugging the, the top of the bullish band for several weeks now, and uh, now we are seeing this pullback. We were also significantly overbought, and uh, at the moment we are at 63, and we're heading most likely towards the middle of the bullish band down here at 4,050, 4, give or take. If that if the middle of the bullish band were to break, then we could head all the way down towards the 50, moving average down here at 3,961, or probably all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 3,890. But at this point, um, at this current stage, the middle of the bullish band is probably where we'll turn around in, um, in the S&P 500. If you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is going to cross the signal line probably tomorrow if this continues. The, RS, uh, the stochastic has crossed the signal line. The CCI is going um, heading towards uh, zero and becoming bearish. And the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So we are still in this uptrend. We have been in this uptrend for, well, basically all the way back in April last year. We have had um, major pullbacks and minor pullbacks. And it looks like we're just going to see more of the same. We just got way up ahead of ourselves. And now we're just seeing a minor pullback towards the middle or probably all the way down towards the bottom. It's still be seen what is going to happen there. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the same here for the Dow Jones. We got significantly overstretched and significantly overbought. And we're now seeing a pullback towards probably first the middle here at the 33,500. That's going to be the first uh, major support level that's going to be retested. Uh, if that breaks, then we can head all the way down to the bottom at the 32,700, give or take. And that is probably as far as this will go. We can see that we have pull back towards the middle or pull back all the way down to, to the bottom occasionally, but most likely towards the middle of the bullish band. Technically, indicators, they are all uh, turning around and becoming negative. And uh, this is still a uh, buying a dips um, scenario, as uh, that has basically been a strategy that has been working really well. We have had occasionally um, pullbacks all the way down towards the 200 moving average, but those pullbacks have been fairly rare. Um, yes, uh, this was basically all the way back to November and October when we had these pullbacks, but otherwise, uh, the other major pullbacks that we have seen have been towards the very bottom of the bullish band, otherwise towards the middle. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq, uh, very similar thing here. We have been rallying all the way down from the 12,630 all the way up towards the 14,550. And now we're seeing a pullback in the Nasdaq. So the first major resistant is going to be down here at the 13,550. If that breaks, then we could head towards the 50, and the moving average down here at 13,300. And that's probably as far as this will go, as then we'll basically test the previous highs here, which will offer major resistance. So we have the middle of the bullish band and the 50 moving average. If this were to break, then we'll most likely head all the way back down to these previous lows down here and retest them. But at this current stage, um, the middle of the bullish band at 13,500 uh, and uh, at the 13,300, that is most likely the targets here. Uh, to the upside, we'll probably go and uh, retest the 14,000, probably in the long run, 15,000. Technically, at the moment, due to this pullback, are all becoming very bearish. So let's look at the German DAX. So also here in the German DAX, we can see that we have also had a, quite a big of a pullback, nearly 2%. Uh, but we have been basically waiting for this pullback for um, nearly two weeks now. So the German DAX has been very bullish ever since we had this major breakout here in the beginning, in the early uh, March, we have had a major rally. 
several times outside of the bullish band, but never ever uh, breaking this heavily towards the uh, middle of the bullish band. We did see one here, but it rallied significantly to the upside after this uh, this pullback. But at this current stage, we are testing the middle of the bullish band. If that were to break, then we could drop all the way down towards the bottom. But it looks like we are just going to see a continuation of these pullbacks towards the middle and then continue rallying. So 15,066, that is probably as far as it will go at this current stage. If that were to break, then we could drop all the way down to 14,533. Technical indicators, they are fairly bearish. We are not in significantly overbought uh, conditions at this current stage as we were back here when we were all the way up at uh, um, above 80. So let's look at the UK 100. So as you can see, we also fell off a cliff here, but, uh, but we also got way up ahead of ourselves. We had a rally from it would take uh, 6,600 all the way up towards uh, 7,035. And now we're seeing this pullback roughly of 2.5%. Uh, so the middle of the bullish band is basically going to be where we are going to see uh, the first support levels. And that is down at the 6,835. If that were to break, then we'll mostly head towards uh, 50 moving average down here at 6,730. And that is probably as far as this will go. We could drop all the way down towards the bottom, then we'll be extremely bearish at 6,618. Technical indicators are all turning around and uh, that is showing signs of, of, of bearish momentum. So let's look at China 50. So China 50 tried to rally above the 20 exponential and then got rejected. So we are basically stuck here between the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential. So this inverted um, hammer here is a fairly bearish shine. So if we break below the 200 moving average, we could drop towards the 16,000 uh, level or the 15,000 level. But we have tested the 200 moving average several times and have been rejected. We have also tested the 20 exponential several times and have also been rejected. So we kind of need a clear signal whether or not we are going to break towards the upside or whether or not we're going to break towards the downside. At this current stage, it's a complete gamble and it's probably just better, better to wait and see where this technically is going. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over here at the e The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.